play with the win here? Like, does it feel like practice? Because it's like you, you train here and then like you got all the fans. You know, I was saying last night to one of my friends, I'm like, I do not feel like I have a huge track meet tomorrow. Because I was literally at home on my couch watching, I think I was watching the new season of All American on Netflix. And I'm like, it does not feel like I have a track meet tomorrow. So, yes, it kind of feels like practice, but in a good way. I feel really relaxed. I feel really just at home. I got a little home track advantage going on. Yeah. Alright, so we'll win right the first round and the second round. Uh, my finish in both of them. Being able to transition, stand up and run in the middle of the race and really hold it through to the end. Went right in both rounds. And as um, my coach Bobby would say, you're leaving too much in the first 20 meters. And so, I wasn't happy with my start, but it wasn't terrible. So, we'll work on it and we'll get there. So, a little bit of a weird final. I mean, like three open lanes. Like, what would have happened? Do you have any idea? Uh, no. I literally had no idea. I was actually surprised. I had actually said right before, where's the rest of the race? Cause, I, mean, I think I saw everyone warming up, so I was just like, did they not know that we came over here? I have no idea what happened. Yeah, yeah. You said there were obstructions in your post race video. What happened? Like before the race? Um, there was just con some confusion with who was like, going to be running, who was not going to be running. There was one girl immediately to my right in lane two. Sorry, my 100 meter miss has to stop talking to them. Like my hundred weirdness is like I can't keep talking while they're at the bad box. Juju in a future race. You know, I just I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, I lost what I was saying. How weird it was. Oh, there was just a little bit of confusion between who was gonna show up, who wasn't gonna show up. Um, Sasha Lee, I hope I'm saying her name right, she literally ran up, like I saw her running and I'm just like, oh, are they going to wait for her, like just like, give her 30 seconds to start her block, so there was a part of me that was like worried for her and I had to be like, snap back in it, get in your lane, you got a race to run, if she doesn't have a fix, it's not your fault, so, <laughs> but it has to be like that, like, you know, it's the sport and I was like, oh, wait for her, but then, the officials were the officials. Yeah. What race do you got coming up? Um, I'm actually headed to Europe next. I'm going to be running in uh, the, what is it called? The FDL? At, um, FBK NBA. games. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I just made up letters. <laughs> <laughs> in the FBK games. Um, and then in Poland. Maybe in Paris. Nice. Maybe this win will let me in. Yeah, there you go. It's a lot of points. <laughs> what, what's kind of been clicking for you? Your second sub-11 of the year, right? Yes. Yeah, what's kind of been clicking? Um, um, this is my second year out here at, in LA at UCLA training with Bobby, and I feel like after the first year of just learning a lot of new things, um, it just starts to, everything starts to click, and everything that he's been saying over and over again finally just like makes sense. And so I don't know if it's like one little thing or just a good full year of hearing the same thing over and over again. Great job, great job. Appreciate it.